Avocado, why do you think you're so holy? You're just guacamole to me. Just guacamole. This here's an avocado. An avocado from Mexico. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I love me an avocado. I think it's goddamn good. I love avocados. The avocado. Thanks. This tasty little treat that brings a smile to my face. And you know, brings a smile to a lot of other people's face. Especially when you go out to a Mexican restaurant and they load you down with them chips and salsa. Chips and salsa, I like chips and salsa. And you're all like, I just, uh, oh, I'm so full. I got like that cabbage salsa. You know that cabbage salsa is fucking fire, y'all. But you're like, oh, man, I'm so full. I just can't eat anymore. And all of a sudden, the tostada comes out with extra guacamole on top. You're like, ah! I love avocados. We have all these beautiful avocados from Mexico, but where are the chips? I'm sorry? Mm, the chips. The chips are outside. Why are they outside? The chips are outside! I mean, you could you could take an avocado. You could slice it up. You could put it on a toast like them folks who drive them hybrids and unidentifiable genders eat, you know, avocado toast. Or you can blind it up, a little bit of garlic, mm -hmm. a little bit of salt, a little bit of lemon juice. Throw that up all nice and pasty like, have it as guacamole. You could do one of my favorite things, slice it real thin, fry it in bacon fat, because what better way to take a great freaking food, make it even greater, freaking or fooder, by frying it in bacon. I mean, but anyhow, y'all, you're thinking, why the hell is Don going on and on and on and on about avocado? I'm gonna tell you. This week is a special review. My buddy Sean over at Graham's Beard. Do you remember we talked about them a couple weeks back, right? You remember that during the CBD adventures? be honest with you, I, I, I don't. Shut up, Grandpa. Shut up. Go upstairs. Go to bed. All right? Just chill out, Grandpa. Yeah. A couple weeks back during the CBD adventures, we talked about Graham's beards. All right? And Sean reached out and said, you know what, brother? I appreciate your review. I want you to do another one. I got a new product coming out. This product just dropped a week ago today. A week ago today, y'all. And I've been wearing it, all right, for over a week now, okay? This is the barber shop. I mean, hot damn. Look at that. Now you're thinking, Don, what the hell does an avocado have to do with Graham's beards and the barber shop? Well, last time we talked about Graham's beards, he was using grapeseed oil. You guessed it, boys and girls. This stuff, avocado. So now, can you not only eat avocado, you can put that some bitch on your face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the Barbershop Series, you've got eight glorious options. You've got butters, you've got bombs, you've got oils, you got this crazy fucking shit that he calls two in one and three in one. Get the beer jam oil on the beer jam grease. Eight freaking options up in this piece. And when I first got the box opened up, and the first one I wanted to put on my face was the beer grease oil, the three in one oil butter and bomb. Because I was, I was impressed by that. I mean, you're reading the ingredients here: it's shea butter, coconut oil, jojoba. I know that ain't how you say it. Argon, hemp seed, CBD, avocado, beeswax. Mm-hmm. Now it says to shake well and use a pea sized drop. So that's what you do. And that's, you know, you're gonna hit this thing here and try and be like, like you're a 13 year old boy watching HBO late night trying to hit the, you know what I mean? Still satiny smooth, thanks to Jergens lotion. What you'll learn with age, you know, we all have, is that a little goes a long way. And this stuff, a little bit goes a long way. This, this is, this is great. I mean, you put a little bit in that pea size, you're like, man, is it gonna be enough? Yes, yes, it's gonna be enough. The next day, I got out the beard jam oil, the two-in-one, the oil and butter. Once again, y'all, <laughs> this is the original barbershop scent. Man, and it's it's clean, it's crisp, it's refreshing. And it feels damn good on your face. It's the same ingredients, shea butter, coconut oil, jo -jo -jo -ba, jo -jo -ba, jo -jo -ba. Argon oil, 
hemp seed oil, CBD, and avocado oil. This was this was a fun one too. This one, it goes on smooth, real smooth like, you know, and leaves your, your face feeling like, well, avocado butter. Now y'all know I'm a fan of the earthy scents. I'm a real big fan of the mellow kind of, you know, hey, you know, I don't want to go walking in and smell like a French hoochie mama. Okay, that just, just ain't my thing. So when I saw that <laughs> he had this uh, love, Baba, sandalwood and bourbon, I thought, motherfucker, this is my jam right here. This is this is my jam. Because who doesn't love bourbon? Who doesn't love sandalwood? And as you can tell, it's right up in there. I likes it too, y'all. I really, and I thought, yep, can't top it. Can't top it. I'm three into the eight. Cannot fucking top it. This is it. And this was, this was nice, y'all. This one stayed in my beard all day. The scent was phenomenal. And it's also got the shea butter, the mango butter. Mango. The jojoba, argon, hemp seed oil, CBD oil, avocado oil, beeswax. Mm -hmm. Says he's about a dime size of mine. You all about that dime size up in here. Man, I remember when a dime bag cost a dime. You know what I mean? Now to stay on track with the, uh, the earthy scent. Sandalwood, baby. Sandalwood. No bourbon up in this one. Just straight mother truck and sandalwood, y'all. And it's and it's another one that, man, it it goes on smooth. It's reliable. All right. Stays on your face and doesn't get all over the goddamn place. So the final two I combined in, in two days, y'all. Um, I'm the type of guy when I get up in the morning, after I get my shower in, you know, have my bowl of cocoa puffs tend to the goats and the chickens and all that and take my shower and I'm getting put my, my beard process on you know getting that getting that process going um I'll run a balm and an oil I'll put the balm on first work through comb it brush it and then put a little bit of oil in there to kind of maintain that y'all then when I get home at the end of the day after I get done doing the chores gathering eggs and whatnot I'll put some butter on before I go to bed to kind of let it sit there and work like it like butter's supposed to do and Sean had his shit fucking right, y'all. He's got the uh, <laughs> the Dream Sickle mm -hmm. beard oil with the follow up of the Dream Sickle beard butter. Now, Dream Sickle, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? That's exactly the shit I'm thinking. Seriously, y'all. And that's what it smells like. Yo, it smells like them little orange creamsicles that you would get on the back of the truck handed to you by some stranger with all kinds of tattoos and probably missing teeth and remember back in the day when you can go up to a freaking musical wagon give money to some dude you don't even know he walks in the back of the wagon pulls out something like ice cream and who knows what the hell he did to it, but you didn't care because you didn't have any fear mm -hmm. this brings me back to that final day I did the Crazy Barber Original Beard Shop. Mm -hmm. Did the beard oil in the morning. I did the beard butter at night. Now, the, the consistency of both these beard butters is ridiculous. It's smooth. It's creamy. It's like avocado. I mean, and I wonder why it's like avocado. Because there's freaking avocado in there. Freaking avocado in there. Avocado in there. Avocado in there. There's some avocado, oh, back door only. Avocado in there. There's some avocado there. There's avocado every motherfucking where. And it shows. I mean, it's, you know, the consistency of guacamole. That was smooth. Now, no time. Now, I've been some pretty drunk times in my day at Mexican restaurants on them two for one margarita nights. And I'm thinking, man, never did it cross my mind to take the bowl of avocado and just rub it on my face. Never. But that's what Sean did. Sean took that shit and said, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be crazy like that. Crazy, crazy like that. Now straight up from the floor up, I want you to go check out Graham's Beards and I want you to go check out the barbershop. Go to the barbershop. We got a point. Cassie Clean was a bad motherfucker. Hey, I ain't saying clean bad. I'm just saying, I stopped liking Cash Clay. What's the change the name to Muhammad Ali? What kind of shit is that? Avocado oil makes a huge, huge difference, y'all. I mean, it is amazing. When he was running with the grapeseed oil before, it was it was great. Don't don't give us grape. It was grape, you know. <laughs> Up and at him, eh? Yes, master. <laughs> but the avocado, the avocado's a fucking game changer. It is, y'all. I mean, it, it truly is. I'm impressed. Um, 
with the consistency, with the way that it makes my beard feel, with the staying power of the sense and, and the feel of it, y'all. I get home at the end of the day, if you're doing, you know, an eight to 10 hour shift uh, and your know, chores in the morning and chores at night and my beard still feels like I first put the stuff on. And that is really saying something else. So many times you get beard care products that, you know, they, they come on strong. They're like, they're like that, you know, that preteen, yeah. Coming on strong, I got this, yeah. Yeah, and then I was thinking like, oh shit. Well, that's embarrassing. But this, this has staying power. And I'm super impressed with it. Uh, I, I tip my hat to Sean over at Graham's Beards. Check him out on social media. All right, get a hold of him. Place a fucking order. All right, get in on the avocado train. All right, and uh, do some good for your beard. Seriously, I mean he's a he's a straight up hard working man. All right, making a fucking difference in his area and the beard care community. He's a good dude, legit. I mean I can't say enough nice things about him, guys. I don't want to come off sound like all homo. Scale one to ten. Okay. Uh, a hundred and I'm a drag queen. So they said y'all he is all over social media. Check him out. Okay I cannot say nice, enough nice things about the guy. He's somebody I'm proud to call a friend and a brother. All right um, We're changing shit up with the reviews um, We're gonna be doing one post with just beard care and then a separate post for the beers you know, I was getting companies reaching out to me like dude. We love your posts. We love them. Can you cut it in half? So we can post like a beard company could be like, can we post the beard here? And then I get the same thing from, from breweries. Like, Hey, we love it. We love it. We'd like to cross post it, but can you just do the separations? Like, you know what? I could do that. I could do that. You know, plus I can do this shit in the morning, go do my chores and then get tore the fuck up. That way I'm not out there like drunk trying to, you know, like tend to the chickens and the, and the, and the goats and the, and the chickens like motherfucker this son of a bitch is supposed to feed us where the hell is he go out there and continue to be damn fine americans like i know y'all are okay uh, we live in the best country on the planet and that's why i love doing shit like this and, and 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 exposing these companies to people that may not know of them that may not be aware of them that may be curious about them um and like i said as usual if you have any suggestions on beard care products you think i should try Hit me up on my social media. Leave a comment here. If you're a new beard care company or if you're in a you know, long-standing beard company and you want my review, which I'd be humbled and honored to do, get a hold of me. Let me know. We'll work something out. I, I enjoy it. And if I, could, if I could help promote another American business to this great country of ours, I'm all about it. I Seriously, I am all about it. Look, we got some shit going on down at the border, and I want to officially say that I fully support our Border Patrol men and women down there. Um... There's a lot of folks that are not supporting you. Um, a lot of people that are up and way above my pay grade uh, that are making choices on y'all's behalf that shouldn't be making those choices. They have not walked two feet in your boots because they're wearing them fucking squeaky ass loafers and khakis and slacks and sports coats and don't know two shits about nothing. All right. Um, but I want you to know you've got the support of a lot of these American citizens. Um, and uh, we, we totally appreciate what you're doing. And we thank you for keeping our country safe and protecting our border. Okay. All right, y'all. <laughs> Go out there, be kind of women, be kind of children, be kind of elderly, and be kind of animals because that's the right thing to do. You uh, you keep that beard growing, and you keep that beer flowing. God bless y'all.